Okay guys, welcome back. So, um, Indian music. So just to give you uh, an idea, if your geography uh, is a little rusty, <laughs> then India is just here. Uh, so India borders Pakistan to the west and borders China to the east. So um, there are a lot of uh, like yeah, sort of cross-cultural influences that come in from um, what we'd call the, 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 the Near East or the Middle East. Uh, and what we call the Far East, which is um, which is China. So we're going to look at two uh, genres. The first is Indian classical, and the second is Bangra. Um, that we're going to look at this week. Um, so we're going to start with um, the Indian classical tradition. And uh, there's two main terms that we need to think about when we think about Indian classical tradition. The first is raga which is um, Indian classical music's version of scales. So like the, the spine, the backbone of the music. We call scales, major and minor scales, etc. cetera. Um, uh, in, in Indian classical tradition, they call that raga. And then you've got tala. Now tala are the rhythms that sit underneath um, the, the, the raga itself, okay? So tala is the rhythms and raga is the scales. And you combine the two and we get Indian classical tradition. So we're going to go through each of them in turn. So firstly, raga. Raga is a series of notes that make up a scale, usually between five and eight, um, sometimes a bit more, but, but mostly around that five and eight um, mark. Some of them are Western diatonic notes. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, um, you know, A sharp. D flat, etc. Okay, some of them are, are Western diatonic notes, but some notes are microtonal, which means that they sit in between. So what you have to realize is that the very notion of having 12 pitches in a key, like we do in the West, um, just didn't exist in India. All right, they had something completely different. All right, their own version of um, constructing harmonic series. Right, completely uh, their own, and that's why they came up with the idea of raga. And these are the basis uh, of Indian classical music. So, microtones, are, and I put a picture up just to try and explain. So, microtones, you have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Right. So, this is the sort of standard model of a piano. C has a C sharp, D has a D sharp, F has an F sharp, G has a G sharp. A is an A sharp or a B flat, etc. Okay, so we've got all those that uh, are, are the traditional ones. Now, you can have notes that are in between, all right? So, sort of a C double sharp almost, or a D double sharp, or F double sharp, right? Or B double flat, etc. Actually, that's not, that's an A double sharp, but. Um, so, they, they're not quite semitones. They're half of a semitone, all right? Now, obviously, this is really difficult to, to play. You can't play this on a piano, for example, unless you detune the piano. But um, when you think about a guitar, it always has, like, uh, it's got, like, a sliding scale. So you can sort of slide between notes, and you can find that pitch. Um, or a, a clarinet, for example, um, you can change the embouchure of your mouth, and you can slightly flatten or sharpen the note. Um, which gives you the ability to do these microtones. Um, now, what I've done, um, I've put a video up here. Um, I'm not going to play this because it's the, the quality is somehow a bit bad when I sort of record this screen. So I've put this video on the assignment section in Teams for when you answer your questions. So that I want you to give this a watch because it explains how some of the different scales or the different ragas are put together in Indian classical music. Now you don't need to memorize any of these any of these words. All you have to know is that ragas are scales, and that they are loosely based around um, Western diatonic scales, but they have microtonal changes sometimes. All right, um, and there are hundreds of ragas, hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of different scales. They all respond to different parts of India, different players. People invent them, like it's it's um, it's not standardized as 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 the West. Okay, uh, great. So I um that's that's going to be on part one of the forms. 
So if you want to go and complete that assignment, and then when you're ready, move on to the to the next video, and we'll talk about um, Tala. All right, thanks, guys.